attack. Hey. Congratulations. You won your casino. It was always mine. I know. But you played a high stakes game and you got to hold on to it. But Ryan walked off for the rest of your life, didn't he? Well, you win some, you lose some. Cambius is Ryan's headache now. Good riddance. Sounds awfully cavalier. You put your wife and your children in the same category with Campbell. They weren't on the poker table last night. Oh, no? Zach, you sat at Kendall's bedside willing her to live. Why did you want her to live? So you could just give her away to, to Ryan? She wasn't mine to give away. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. My daughter loves you. Yeah, and she loves Ryan. One heart, two men. It's too crowded for me. Yeah, well, that's true. I don't blame you for that. But Ryan was in love with Green. Yeah. He was. But Greenlee was only the silver, Kendler's gold. I don't think Ryan felt that way. And I think that both Ryan and Kendall are still shell-shocked over Greenlee's death. Well, sleeping together probably takes a sting out of it a little bit. Yeah, well, you know what? That's the first true thing you said. <sighs> Ryan is using Kendall for comfort. Kendall is using him the same way. But that doesn't mean they belong together. But they are together. She's got him, he's got her, I've got the casinos. It's all good. Oh, you know what? None of this is remotely good, and you know that. You, Ryan, and Kendall, you've all gone completely insane. Zach. Have you ever recovered from losing your mother? I mean, really recovered. No, no scars? What does that have to do with anything? My father left me when I was a little girl. And they say that the children are very resilient. But I don't think that's true. I think that they just hide their pain really well. When you break a child's heart, it stays broken forever. You can put a Band-Aid on it. But you can't fix it. My point is that you hold two tiny hearts in the palm of your hands. You can smash them, or you can protect them. Your decision is going to mark Spike and Ian for the rest of their lives. Where are you going? What are you doing here? I'm moving back home. I'll handle this. Is this fun for you? Not so much, no. All right, well then why do it? I doubt my wife is going to unpack for me. Yeah, you got that right. Yeah, and I don't want to have to go through my bag every morning. Every morning? No, Zach, there's not going to be any morning. Okay, you filed for a divorce, remember? Not something a husband forgets. Kind of like being cheated on sticks with you. What are you trying to prove? That he owns the house and everything in it. You're right. You want me to move out? Is that it? No, I'm not gonna... Would I presume to tell you where to live, Kendall? Seriously? Well, I, I, can't, I can't stay here, okay? Especially if you're serious about moving back well, in. Why not? It's a big house. There's plenty of room for everybody. You, Ryan, and Emma loves the boy. Yeah, one big happy family. Right? I mean, you, me, Kendall, Spike, Emma, Ian. Yeah. And Aiden, if you like. I mean, you know, we could play a game where... The boys get to share the woman of the house and... All right. Okay, you know what? Hmm? Stop, stop, stop. All right, you're being a real son of a bitch right now. Wow, easy. Easy. It's all gonna work out. We just gotta remember to put the seat down. What will it take to make you go away? You're playing right into his hand. You moved out. You said you needed your space. I needed space, I had it, now I'm back. And how do you see this working out? I don't know. The possibilities are endless, but there's one iron rule. And what is that? No more sleeping with my wife in my bed. This obviously isn't going to work for any of us, Zach. What is your sense of adventure? I am going to go and um, pick up Emma. Don't yeah. leave on my account, seriously. 
It's okay. Hey, don't let them get to you, all right? Not so easy. We will manage through this craziness. Okay, guys, when Ryan gets back, family meeting, okay? Okay, I will move in with Ryan. Clearly that's what you want. All I want, all I ever wanted, was my family. Well, it's a little late for that. Nah, maybe it was never mine to start with anyway. You left me. No, I said we needed some time alone. I did everything I could. Yeah, well, I must have been sleeping when, when you did that. With Ryan, probably. You're hateful. Okay, hateful hate, that's an emotion. Better than that wall you've been throwing up. You're pushing me out of this house, you realize that? Pushing you? Kendall Hart, I, I couldn't push you. You were forced to be reckoned with. All right, fine. Fine, I'll take my things and the boys and I'll get You home. go wherever you want. The boys stay here. I'm not going anywhere without my boys. Well, then I guess you're staying here. You have no right to I have every right. Me. Those are my kids. Spike is Ryan's son. Oh. Okay, you're gonna throw that at me? He's the biological father? Okay, do you think that's why Ryan is here? No, he's here for you. Who gets these kids up in the morning? Feeds them breakfast? Huh? Not Ryan, that's me. Who takes them at night, gives them a bath, sings them to sleep? Not Ryan, that's me. Okay, yes, I know that. I understand that, but you think that gives you some kind of ownership? No. It makes me a parent. The parent that stayed here, the parent that didn't stray. So I kissed somebody. It's awful. I'm sorry. Big deal. What did you do? You took Ryan, you took the biological father, and took him in our bed. In our bed, right here. You shattered this family. And with or without you, I'm going to keep it together. Whatever's left of this unit, I'm going to save it. You are out of your mind. Mm. Maybe. You're not the first person to say that. Yeah, maybe I'm a little crazy. A lot of angry. But regardless of wherever this madness leads, my boys are going to be fine. You can't have my children. So what are you going to do? You're going to take me to court? You're going to shoot me? You're not dragging these kids out of their home. All right. Okay, have it your way. I'll stay where I am. Fine. But I have no intention of living with then you. Then leave! Then get out! Ah, <laughs> oh, bud, did we wake you up? I know we're too noisy, huh? It's this one's your mother. She's very loud. But you know what? You gotta, <laughs> you gotta lay back down. You gotta get some sleep. Hey, buddy. Here. Uh, Come on, baby. Ah, there we go. There uh, you go. You hungry? Oh, you're hungry? Uh, oh, no, you're not hungry. Well, we can stay. One of us has to leave. Yeah, I know, baby. I know. How do we decide who leaves? Tell me Kendall is here. She'll be back. You're both staying? That's the plan. How'd you know? Brian, look, mm -hmm. you're not going to be sorry. I know that you and Kendall can find your way back to each other. I'm sorry. This marriage is over. It's uh, separate lives. We're just doing this for the boys. All right. It's a start. Don't get your hopes up. Whatever we had. What is it, Zach? He's not breathing. 